ye, hear ye, hear ye. Alpha Omega Sin says gamers hate paying a bunch for fucking video games. That's a no-brainer. No shit. $60 a pop is a lot. Look over in Australia. They're coughing up over $100 per game. Obviously, this hobby is a tad bit expensive, and all of us know that. And how many times have we said the tried and true, I'll wait until it gets cheaper. Whenever there's a game out, and you're just like kind of on the fence about it, you're like, oh, I want it, but not for full price. No, fuck that. How often have you thought about that? How often have you wanted to go out and get a couple games, but you're like, well, $60, ugh, man, two games, $120? Wait, I want three? That's... 180? Oh, fuck that. No, I can only afford one game. That's really about it. The everyday average jack-off does not have a whole fuck ton of money to just go and splurge on a whole bunch of games. And then take it into account of how many games come out per month. And if you own multiple consoles, it's just like, holy shit. You know, if you have if you have an iPhone or if you have an Android, okay, there's a bunch of games on there that might be coming out. If you have handheld, there's games coming out for that. If you have PC, there might be games coming out. It's just like, holy fucking shit, too many games! Too many games, not enough hours, and definitely not enough money. And that's the fucking problem right now. Well, I, I can always make time to play games, no matter what. But the point is that I don't always have the money for it, and many of you out there have also had the point of going, ah, fuck, I'm tapped. Sorry, can't get this and this and this and this and this and this and this. So, and it's unfortunate. But... The thing is that a lot of people started going through all the numbers from 2011 and noticed that physical game sales were down 8% overall across the board. And while 8% doesn't seem like a large number, because really it's not, but here's the thing, whenever you're, you know, your video games, you are the biggest me entertainment medium that there is in the entire world. You're bigger than movies, you're bigger than music, you're bigger than TV, you're bigger than everything. 8% is a gigantic dive. And the thing is, you're also going to be taken into account of things of digital game sales, and then look over at the Android Marketplace and the iTunes Marketplace, okay? All those games, I mean, you can download games for a fucking dollar, just a one dollar. That's it. One dollar. Okay, that's fifty-nine dollars cheaper. Now, granted, I understand, you know, that's a completely different experience. You're getting, like, a great big game with tons of fucking awesomeness and, you know, it, it's well-rounded and just really kick-ass. And you're getting tons of hours worth of gameplay out of it and it's obviously a better thing versus just a little dollar game. Now, you know, that is very true, but the thing is, at the end of the day, they're both video games, they're just forms of entertainment, and that's how a lot of people are going to compare them. You know, whether one thing is going to be better than the other is just a matter of perspective for the person who is going and comparing them and deciding on what they want to go and purchase and spend their time playing. That's the truth of the matter. So here's the thing. If they're going and competing against all other forms of entertainment, you know, like I said, movies, music, TV, uh, books, comics, all, all the other shit. If you're competing against all of those, and all of those are a lot cheaper, you know, you can get albums for 10 bucks. You can go and get, go to the movies for what, $9? You can go and get TV shows for what, $20? $30 for an entire box set. Hell, you can get the Mary with Children box set, all 11 seasons, 30 bucks. Okay, you know, you can go and get all this stuff. You can get movies on DVD, Blu-ray, anywhere, anywhere between like 17, 20 something dollars, and then a video game, 60. That's a lot. And then looking back, back to the past, to all the past generations of consoles, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, with the rare exceptions here and there that would just crop up and be like, I'm 70, and it's like, why? And they're just like, no one's buying me until I lower in price, I know it. And that would happen. And, you know, we're not taking into account of limited edition, collector's editions, and all the other happy horse shit. But the fact is, is that we've been used to the $50 price point. This console, Jen, Shake shit up. All right, $60, $10 increase out of nowhere and overseas, it was a hell of a lot more. And it's kind of fucked up to think about because now a lot of people don't have that much money. And when you take into account of the like economic fucking decline that we've been taking, where people financially aren't capable of going and churning out all this fucking imaginary money to go and spend on just entertainment, and that's really it. And the thing is, you know, whenever we're in an economic nosedive and people don't have all the money, they go and turn to cheaper forms of entertainment because you can't afford to go on vacations, you can't afford to just splurge and go partying and stuff like that. The thing is, people will go and spend on something like this, you know, beyond the people of just, you know, the fucking absolute gamer who's just like, but th this is my vacation. I'm going to sit at home and play like five RPGs all the way through and I'm not going to sleep. I will shower though and piss and shit. <laughs> yeah. But, it, you know, it's it's just a matter of perspective. It's like, okay, so I want to play video games, 
but they cost a whole lot of money. Looks like I'm going to have to go somewhere else and spend my money. And that's the problem, is that people are going to start spending their money elsewhere. So they're thinking, well, with the next console gen, we could see cheaper games. Now, the Wii U is going to be coming out at the end of this year. Now, thinking about that, they haven't gone on record and said how much games are going to cost. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that they decide to stick with the $50 price point or even make it cheaper. I swear, if they went and announced across the board games are going to be $40 brand new on a console, I guarantee you, they will start selling like hotcakes. Just bam, 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 just go and throwing them out there. Okay, that's the truth. If you go and lower the price even more, no, Grant, you aren't making all the money that you were off of individual sales, but the thing is you're mass producing this and then you make up the uh, fucking difference in just volume that's being sold overall. And the thing is, if the games are cheaper, that's an easier way to go and sell the hardware because it's like, yeah, but the games are only $40. I guess I'll go and pick up the system because that's the initial upfront cost that you're paying a lot for is the systems and the controllers and the accessories like headsets, you know, and additional shit that you are just like, yeah, I kind of need it. But the thing is, you know, that's the initial upfront cost. You go and spend all that. The game shouldn't cost a whole crap load, and especially when there's tons of them per month. Now, you know, a person can say, well, then don't buy so many per month. The thing is, you know, if a game is like eight hours long and you're done with it, bam, you know, that takes, what, a day, two days, depending on how much time you have. If you have, like, next to no time, three days, okay, well, what do I do with for the rest of the month? That was my $60 purchase. Hooray! Do you have another $60 to go and spend that week and another 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 and another? No, you don't. Unless you're like super rich and if you are, well, hell, internet high five to you. That's pretty fucking cool. I don't. And lots of people that I interact with online, they don't. Lots of people I, I hang out with, they don't. And that's a fact of the matter. So realistically, if it's cheaper, we would go and spend more. You know, like I said, if it was $40, I'd go and buy, like, a lot more games. And that's really the truth. Just imagine if it's $40. Two games, 80 bucks. It's like, hmm, I like this idea quite a bit. You know, you'd be able to get so much more. And it would make a lot more sense to go and do that. I understand that the game costs, you know, X amount of dollars would be able to go and produce, but the thing is, there is only a handful of games that have cost, like, millions and millions and millions of dollars. You know, I think uh, the most expensive game right now is the one Star Wars game. And the thing is, it, that's all understandable, but the thing is, it's a rare exception. There's tons of games that do not cost them that much. It's like tens of thousands of dollars to go for them to develop this game. It goes that, and it's still at the same $60 price point. Why not just make it cheaper? Seriously. And, and the people that are spending like millions and millions of dollars, we, we shouldn't have to go and piggyback that cost. It should just come out at a, a single price that everybody can afford, so everybody can enjoy it. And if you are spending all that money on it to go and make sure it is the best damn product that you ever put out there, for gamers to go and experience, then you want to know what? When it's at $40, even more people are going to get their hands on More people are going to enjoy it. And it's going to go and make up the difference for all the fucking money that you put into it. All the hours that you slaved over it. That's how shit goes. Make it cheaper. Cheaper, 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 cheaper cheaper. Seriously, I would like things to be a lot cheaper, and, you know, if, if physical game sales are going down just a little bit, I don't know what they look like right now, because, well, you know, we're, we're still in 2012, so we still have months and months and months before we can go and see, like, all the projected forecast. I sound like I'm talking about the weather, but you get the idea. Before they can go and give us the numbers and crunch everything and go and compare it to 2011, 2010s, and things of that nature. But the thing is, what do you think? You know, taking into account of the development costs and the publishing costs and how much it costs to make the retail copies and put them out there, you know, and taking into account of all the other forms of media out there that you're going and comparing video games to that are subsequently cheaper to go and mess with and be entertained by comparison, and then... Also, you have to go and take into account of the Android market and the uh, iTunes marketplace and then Xbox Live Arcade and PSN and the WiiWare service and things like that, which all offer games for cheaper and some games that are just a dollar and some games that are just free, just free to play. You know, oh, and how about this? Look online. I mean, how many free to play MMORPGs are there? A lot. You just go and play. Sure, there's a little cost here and there if you want to go and purchase in-game items and stuff, but they're free to play. You know, look at Steam. How many times do they have sales there that cost like next to nothing for their games? Full retail copies of games. Sure, you don't have the physical copy of it, but the thing is you own that account. That account is yours, you know. 
you're competing directly against them. That is, you know, what consoles are going to be competing against, is all of that stuff. They, to me, they should lower the price, but what do you think? Do you think that they will actually lower the price, or do you think it will stay at $60 for a next gen and a gen after that? If it does lower, what do you think exactly would happen? Do you think that they would actually increase in sales? Do you think more people would start buying, or do you think it would just stay at what it's at? You know, do you think some of those games that get ignored would suddenly start getting, like, a flood more people go and picking up the game because, well, now they have that extra money to go and pony out for that one title that they're like, wasn't too sure about, but I was really glad I picked it up. Things like that. You can comment down below in the comment box. That's what it's there for. So you can type out all your opinions and random words and shit like that and share it with the entire world. And go and argue amongst yourself if you're just like, I completely disagree. You're a fucking retard. You should explode. Your mom should explode. I exploded on your mother. <gasps> hey. <laughs> Or you can make a video response, uh, hopefully not exploding on anybody's mother, because they'll just get taken off YouTube anyway. But the point is that, you know, share your opinions, talk about this shit. Anyway, I shared my views and opinions on the entire thing. This is Alpha Omega Sin, as always. Nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on.